name is Sabrina Creswell and I created Together at Christmas which um, is this film essentially and uh, a meal as well that will go out on Christmas Day. I created Together at Christmas because normally we're celebrating at Lanraven Church and this year we cannot do that and when I was planning what we were going to do for Christmas and knowing that we were probably going to have to be in separate households um, I still wanted us to have a way of connecting together um, and realising that actually we might be in our separate households but actually we are part of a wider community and that everybody sends their wishes and happiness to you on this day. Um, so I'd like to thank um, In This Together Community Fund Western Power and private funders um, who have made this possible. Uh, I didn't realise DVDs were so expensive to produce, <laughs> so thank you very much for that. Um, but also um, there's been a couple of DVD players, uh, portable DVD players, um, so anyone who doesn't have a DVD player can uh, also have this DVD and be able to see it as well. Um, so everyone in this DVD has created it with love and they wish you a very happy Christmas and for me happy Christmas and um, hope you enjoy your meal. I really hope you do enjoy your day. Okay, thank you. Bye. How much did Santa's sleigh cost? Nothing. It was on the house. <laughs> <laughs> Rudolph the red nosed <laughs> reindeer sat had his very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even think it glows All of the upper reindeer used to laugh and call him names like Bumble Bum <laughs> <laughs> And they wouldn't let poor Rudolph join in any way you came when we met. Then when foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him and shouted and with joy and glee. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his toe. Merry Christmas! How does Darth Vader enjoy his turkey? On the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. to do with out of shape elves. He sends them to a elf farm. <laughs> Twilight. 
T'was the night before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. T'was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mum and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the lustre of midday to objects below. When to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh, late tiny reindeer, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house, top the coursers, they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he had held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove, out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.